The governor also supported counties that think it's appropriate to require people to wear masks, like Orange County, we've been telling you. Mayor Jerry Deming's executive order requiring masks started at midnight almost 24 hours ago, so how's it going in downtown Orlando right now? Are people at the bars wearing masks? News 6's Lauren Cervantes has that answer. It's Saturday. People are out. It's been busy in the downtown and from what we've noticed, most people seem to be wearing a mask. Now I spoke with one bar owner who says he is actually handing masks out to his patrons. But I think the message has gotten across all the county areas and even Osceola, Seminole. They know if they come into Orange County, it's required. Roger Wall is the owner of Embassy Irish Bar on Orange Avenue in downtown Orlando. News 6 asked him if he would be turning people away who are not complying with the executive order, requiring a face mask in public. There's no need. We have masks available here. And if somebody happens to show up and they don't have a mask and they weren't aware of the issue, we are happy to accommodate them. Wall says for the most part, people seem to be complying. They've been very good all day. Again, this only went into place last evening and people are understanding. They're realizing that while they may not really care about protecting themselves, they understand that the mask is for the protection of other people in their vicinity. While Wall's bar is open, another bar owner made the decision to close. Will Walker is the owner of three bars in Orlando, Will's Pub, Little Indies, and Dirty Laundry. He says on Friday they found out that one of their patrons at Will's Pub late Thursday night had tested positive for COVID-19. We were lucky enough to where we knew everyone that we saw this person come into contact with, so we immediately reached out to them. He says he has temporarily closed all three bars and is having all of his employees get tested. You know, the initial reaction is shock, and then, you know, we had thought about possibly having to shut down again, especially with the numbers rising, but it was very real, very fast. In Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.